Welcome to the Lilly Diabetes Summit. Please make use of the provided touch screens. Micro and macro. Treatment of erectile dysfunction should occur concurrently with lifestyle modification along with treatment of organic and psychosocial dysfunctions, for example, depression and or anxiety. PDE5 inhibitors are the cornerstone of therapy, and if there are no contraindications, should be offered as first-line therapy. Treatment of erectile dysfunction should occur concurrently with lifestyle modification, along with treatment of organic and psychosocial dysfunctions, for example, depression and or anxiety. PDE5 inhibitors are the cornerstone of therapy, and if there are no contraindications, should be offered as first-line therapy. At three-year intervals, if normal, more frequently based on initial results and risk status. In patients with symptoms of hyperglycemia, such as polyuria, polydipsia, blurred vision or weight loss, or metabolic decompensation, such as diabetic ketoacidosis or hyperosmolar non-ketotic state, when a test confirms that the random plasma glucose is equal to or more than 11.1 millimoles per litre. Wow. Based on the most recent 2015 IDF estimates for South Africa, in 2015, the national prevalence was 7%, with a comparative prevalence of 7.6%. Erectile dysfunction defined as the inability to sustain adequate penile erection for satisfactory sexual activity, is common in 50 to 75% of adult men with type 2 diabetes mellitus and negatively impacts quality of life. 